<laughs> Fuck's sake. That's a 35? But Jill, fucking hell. Alright. First nine, no, no, I swear to god. Oh no, yeah, for Jill it's... F oh, it's 38.04. I was looking at that like, hold on, huh? You're thinking of Chris, I think, yeah. Chris is like 35.07. Yeah, 30, 3804. Wow. Jeez, what see mission. what I mean? The fact that this run is like three minutes slower hey, as well. Where's Chris? You on Gonter, how's it going, man? Stop it. Welcome Don't on in. Open that door. <laughs> but Chris is. Chris is. What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? We could be knifing statue you. zombies right Chris now, man. Our old partner, you know. I'm huh? alright, man. I'm doing well. Okay. I'm doing well. How about Let's yourself? This. I just uh, did some Chris runs and Stay PB'd. <laughs> I've not run it in like three years. Got to like the helipad and I'm like, yeah, this isn't a PB. And I looked at uh, like my speedrun.com page open on the other tab Don't and I looked and no, like 20 seconds or something, I think. And it wasn't the greatest run either. There was a what lot that could probably get fixed up. What is it? Blood. Jill. Blood. <gasps> Best fucking believe he is. I think that's the only way we're going to make it through uh, Barry's fucking dialogue here is if we just get sounds on the game. Video alerts too. Bones eyes ready. Yeah, I can't complain, man. I'm fucking tired, but that's all right. Step like absolute dog shit. I thought, you know what? It's Friday. I'm gonna start up a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live a little bit, and then wake up at like seven. <laughs> that's like I never would. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Right, go on, Wesker. What have you got to say? Fuck, man. Wesker! What have you been up to, Gonto? For him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Ooh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. Doing the packing? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was gonna say. <laughs> I was like, have you done it? Oh, wait, you're moving. I thought you were about to go on holiday. You and I think you said you were moving for your job, aren't you? Let's for a new job, right? I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door. On the <laughs> okay. Side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. The master of unlocking. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen. <laughs> What's we gonna say when I mention I'm back and then we go off on another holiday? This time I'll be gone to holiday. <laughs> now I remember you mentioning that you had like a new job that you had to move for. <laughs> Fair play, man. How's the how's the packing going? Oh, don't get stuck on things, Jill. What are you doing? Let's not have any of that. Wondering why I had like a gold split of like minus three here, and I'm like, oh, oh okay, that might be why. Moving the desks in the chair today. Where are you moving to, if you don't mind me asking? You absolute wank stain. I'm going to keep going with that because I know I can beat this. Jill. What's going on? I think I had like a Any minus clues? five in no, Mansion One, and I had a BB base guy. Whoa! 
this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape <laughs> Whoa. Room first. There must be a back back to your hometown. Nice. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Like the family coming up and helping you, like pack everything and move it all in. Get around them. So I think we lose time here because I noticed that they do this differently when I was the run I was watching yesterday. Oh, you cunt. Oh, bro, fuck this run already. <laughs> Not that much time. Might have been a bit much. It's fine, though. I'm not really worried about like the small optimizations just yet. So just prep up everything. Oh, dude, you're going to have that thing where it's like the last few days you're just kind of there and it's everything's a bit empty. You like moved everything up, but you still have to do some stuff. Oh, there you go. Cut off a second. Used to be an, a meme here where I was like, I was like, I moved like twice in like one year, <laughs> but you've now taken that from me. Probably fast to do this. Oh, so I've gone up even, but it's okay. It's fine. The thing is, I want to redo all my setup and everything, but I don't know if there's like, I'm maybe planning on moving in like the next year or so. That's like, do I just wait? I don't know what to do here. So gold emblem, grab the blue gem, and then we come back. I think that's how I'm trying to remember the route. Kind of weird to play like Chris one minute, switch over to Jill. Nice, no vase pick up there. Very wide bank as well. I can check my notes actually. Just like that, I've just shaved off the four seconds I lost on that menu, which isn't insane to me. It's why when I was hitting these like yesterday, I was very confused. Richard, I was like, what's what happened? happening? I thought this run was a bit more optimized than I than it actually is. So Grabbing the key. Grab the wind crest. Poisonous. They were banking. Okay, I think I remember. I remember everything. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. So grab this. Got the blue gem already.
So I'm banking the knife, pistol, clips and the green herb. You actually move during this cutscene slightly. I think it's like when you first put it in, if you're like holding left. Oh, you wanker. That's like the easiest dodge going. Uh. Absolute disbelief. We're going to lose a bit of time. That's fine. Oh, I actually didn't lose any time. How am I just shaving this down? I'm so confused, man. I was plus four earlier. Roy down to like back in the green. I just need to not stress about it, man. I think I genuinely think that this Bill, this is PBable. I... My radio. You should keep it. I'm. I just don't think I've got it in me to grind for a sub thirty nine. Because of like how reset heavy this game gets. <laughs> As you push the furnishes. <laughs> Real life hacks right there. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. I think this is going to be close, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, see what I mean? Fucking hell. Now, you don't have to push this all the way either. There is a way around it. It's like four and a bit, and that you don't have to actually cover the holes completely. That feels like I've just triggered the wrong one there, but we'll find out. What's everyone getting up to today anyway? What's, what's the plan for set, the rest of these Saturdays? Maps in Halo, let's go. We played Halo Infinite. I'm not going to do the strat here. I think we might lose time doing it. But I don't care. Can't be bothered. Factorio Monday. Never actually played that. Oh, all hey, the Halos on Legendary. Let's there, will go on, Royal. How's it going, my dude? I've actually been wanting to do that myself, man. I was like, I downloaded or I installed all of the Master Chief collection and I was like, I'm convinced, uh, my mates, I'm like, come on, let's, 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 let's try fucking Halo on Legendary. I've, I've never done it. Royal, how's it going? You absolute mad shagger.
get a huge update in DLC. Is that why I've seen so many people like on my Steam friends that's played it recently? I can start to pop off again. The blast in the past. I like, I've played, I don't think I've ever finished Halo 2. But I finished like every every other one, with the exception of like, that was silly. The exception of um, Infinite, because I didn't bother buying it. But it's actually faster here to just shoot and then leave the room. And then come back and the zombie's dead. Far of it the first time. Oh really? Fucking hell, dude. What would he say is like the the most difficult one then? Chilling on zombies. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. May you really? Well, from like the beginning of the level. Just delete your save. <laughs> it's like, so and you start again. Oh, what I save? I was gonna say that's fucking brutal. Well, I'd have a feeling that's enough. Right. Some skulls made to go back to the beginning. I just remember the skull where when you shoot the head and you get headshots, it like confetti flies out and there's like a celebration noise. Yeah, I've never properly went through all of, well, I've never actually, I've done a couple of levels here and there on Legendary like back in the day, but never like the full campaigns, you know? Yeah, like I, I bought Halo 4 and launch, but I didn't get Halo 5 until very late. And then I just didn't really get into it. And then Infinite, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy. I quite enjoyed the multiplayer. I'm not massively into it, I kind of liked it. But I just didn't bother buying the story for it. That being said, I, I want to get, like I've been saying for ages, I want to get into the Halo lore. Like I bought the Fall of Reach book a few months back. Because I hear it like, it is fucking really good. God, the door skip in this game is perfect. The timer stops, you go through, you can sit there and watch it. Oh, Resi 2, man. Where? Come on, come on, Capcom, get that, get that sorted. I think you need to aim up there. Oof. Let's fucking go. So, thinking now, Mansion 2 is pretty much exactly as we just did it. What the hell is this? Jill. <laughs> I don't care how many times I've played this, man. Just Barry walking in. What the hell is this? <laughs> It just doesn't get old, man. Look, his aid at the ready. 
yeah, my plan after stream, gonna cook some dinner and then uh, bang out some Silent Hill 2 remake offline, I think. Maybe see if I can get it done. And just chill. You saved me. Yeah. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't Sorry, mention uh, it. My what a monster. I, I can't believe what the hell is this place anyway? So we'll grab the acid rounds. Fuck it out. This is mad. <laughs> Let's just get to caves. And uh, there's, well, if we play our cards right, so you're there are some serious times that are chilling there. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. Where on I'm earth sorry, have you been? But I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Want to speak to Jill? It's good to see your I just had to make sure, like, Jill, you know, I had to keep an eye on the mission and all. Uh, the last thing I needed was these guys finding yes, the fucking right. guardhouse, let alone the rest of the facility. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that <laughs> oh, fuck it, I got to the same part yesterday on my nose started itching. Just, I'm just allergic to the bullshit in this guardhouse. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. <laughs> Will you do that? So, <laughs> maybe I'll show you Tyrant. <laughs> oh, get free. Nope. That was a weird line to take, man. I almost pushed that fucking statue out the door. It was so good, I had to take it home. Shit, it's stuck! You're a Halo connoisseur? Sorry, I fucking didn't even see that message. Alright, now's not the time to be getting stuck on things. It's fine. I absolutely fucking loved Halo, but, like, I didn't really appreciate the story too much. Like, I mostly played the multiplayer. back in the day so i want to catch up on it now friday the end of reach reach was really fucking good about the story man i love being able to make your own character like noble six Again, though, because I just didn't have as much love for, like, the Halo lore, I just didn't appreciate it as much. Just kind of what I could do now. Do I reload this now, then? I guess I do. It's such a shame the TV show wasn't all that. It's really funny because the last time I went to a CEX, um, <laughs> there were like so many copies of Halo Season 2 where people like bought the DVD or the Blu-ray, heard it was cancelled and they just fucking got rid of it. They're like, oh, fuck that noise. Good fight, we'll take it. Being there to protect each other. Have you found anything interesting? As a Halo connoisseur, yes, what, how do you feel right about now. the free for free stuff? How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Not oh, post Halo oh, reach, sir. So. Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. You see anything interesting, Jill? See, it's at least the development. Oh yeah, like uh, cause they've rebranded it, haven't they? Now I've done it. It's Sorry, true. Jill. I mean, they scrapped like half the staff, and afterwards it seemed like Infinite was starting to get some pretty good updates. But um, I think the the move to Unreal Five could be good. From what I've heard, and I don't, and not as if I, I'm not gonna pretend I know sh like anything about game development and game engines, but like I hear the Slipstream engine was fucking awful. 
Oh, no, not quite. Don't know why I did that. The thing is, is like, again, and this is like coming from more and more of a casual player. I thought Halo Infinite gameplay wise was a kind of a step in the right direction. The issue was obviously like on launch, there just wasn't really anything going for it. It just took him so long to add like individual playlists and, you know, not, not even going to get involved in like the fucking armor core system and the monetization. Like, I just, I feel like there are ways to do it. That was not it. Shouldn't have brought the multiplayer first. Oh, because it was a beta, wasn't it? I, I remember like playing it, thinking, okay, well, it's clearly a beta. And then the game like came out. And then like nothing had changed. Like they hadn't added all like the playlists in there. It took them like two years to add infection into the game. It, it really was like one of the only games I can think of where the gameplay was fine. But the lack of features is that usually it's the other way around. Like they cram it full of shit. But the gameplay sucked. Forgot how it. Yeah, I guess it probably didn't help that like I could see what they were going with with like making it free to play, but obviously people like wouldn't buy into the story. I personally like. I wasn't really not really into the whole free for free stuff. So like. Didn't really like Halo 4 that much. Halo 5 I didn't even bother with. And in Infinite, I just not really a big open world fan for like I, I like open world games. Like I fucking love GTA and stuff, but it just felt a bit shoehorned in. I don't know, I don't know if you'd agree or if you liked it. When am I gonna reload this? I think I'm gonna reload it in caves. as well. Jill's not as uh, tanky as Chris. It's a wrong caution now, we've got to be mindful. So we're going to lose time here initially because I don't actually open this usually on the uh, in the caves. We're going to lose time but we are going to gain it back. Probably at the end of the caves. I'm kind of bummed out. So last year at Comic Con, I was uh, yeah. that they announced that David Hayter was going to be there. They announced that like the voice actors for um, the Master Chief and Cortana were going to be there. But then I, I realised that the one I was going to I only had David Hayter, which is still amazing. But Master Chief and Cortana were at the London one. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Him, I wonder. Right, next crank. I'll reload this. Ooh, I didn't think that was going to work. So we'll gain all our time save back here in uh, Ender Caves, I do believe.
I just gotta remember in the labs, it's the password is mole and it's only B2 I need to do. Oh, yeah, that's nice, good fight, good fight. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. <laughs> Either overshoot it or undershoot it, man. Weird menu. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this time so I told you we'd get it back. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> We've got to make it to labs. Nice. Holy shit, okay. I'm locking in, boys. Oh my god, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Okay. B2. John, Ada, Mole. I don't know why I keep thinking Cell. Then we get out. Right, let's fucking bring it in. Oh no, I okay, turns out I was lying. I never used to do B3. That's where we lost time yesterday when I was doing a trilogy run. Must might be fucking don't even a range mode. Like you don't have to do the computer in a range, right? Right. I don't really want to do this dodge, but we're going to have to. No, not like this. Danger percent, but it's fine. I hate that dodge so much. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think I got it yesterday, though. Be careful here because he can be a camp. He prefer not having D8? I'd say so. It's an interesting mechanic, especially in Resi 2 Remake, but. Ooh, hoo, 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 fuck. I would hate it in these original games, if I'm being honest. I like the consistent like, difficulty. Jill. 
I can fully understand why it's the way it is though. And I think it like makes games like, I, I don't know. You. you know how Left 4 Dead had like the AI director in it? Don't be angry. I wanted you to wait for me. Barry, don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. Holy shit. Uh, I need to go cool down for a second. You know, I missed all of that. And that's all right. I was just saying, I actually do prefer... Um, I prefer just the originals. Like, I don't... I like DA as a concept. But, like, I hate having to, like, control DA in, like, Resi 2 remake and stuff. There's one of the things where, like, I can never really get it down. So you get to labs on, like, 7 DA or something, and it's like, the, the, the enemies are worse to deal with. Like, I think it's a great concept for, like, gameplay and stuff. Because it kind of feels like you never have a, have a proper control of the situation, you know. If you don't know about it, which I didn't know about it until I started speedrunning. I didn't even know Resi 4 had it. Like, I, I like the randomness. Like I was saying, it kind of reminds me of how Left 4 Dead has like an AI director kind of choosing what enemies to throw at you and when. Because it makes like, like no two playthroughs are the same in that aspect, but obviously it's a bit more toned down. But for speedrunning, I hate it. <laughs> but casually, it's great. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by him. Oh my God. Very. Go up on the ground and wait what there. is this madness? Barry. Well, it's not over yet. I need to bring this in. Um, still a lot that can Barry's go tits up. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella. This is with a plus five in the beginning as well. Him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. The power of Lucy compels you. I was following orders from Umbrella. I've not been able to catch his stream in a little while, man. I fucking love watching him do Resi 2 Remake. I mean, it was his guide that, that showed me a shit ton about 2R, especially Leon A. Once I get the new PC, I'm going to jump back on that game. And I would like to kind of get good at it. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So you're going to steal all like my PC runs 2R without issue, but when it gets to the more intensive sections, like it is kind of random too. Like if I have all the settings on low and do all the normal stuff, it just like it will still drop frames. But then if I put everything on high, sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit strange. Tyrant virus is a super virus, which creates a the tyrant virus is a super virus. Question is, is the most what do we do after this? If we get out, do I just you know fucking run it with a trilogy run? <laughs> Probably not. This is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. For the sake of an awful creature? Don't be upset. Resi 2 Leon standard. Should we turn this into if we PB, do I turn this into a trilogy run? And just run Resi 2 after, and then Resi 3. Be a good one to go with. It's PB stream, imagine. Just free, like, just... As long as you don't stop streaming, you just keep running games back to back, you keep PBing them. <laughs> Go to hell. And Jill would duck. Wrong scenario again. Shit. No! <laughs> it's spliced. That explains why the last room had Chris in it. And then I was in Resi 2. And then I was in Silent Hill 3. It, it, I just thought my game bugged. Oh my god. That was bad. It's fine though. So the tyrant is like meant to be like the, the ultimate bioweapon. I think they they like build him with like different parts and they use like I think they have to like mold two fucking like like is it elephant hearts or something together? Something insane like that. And I think he's the cause of the T virus like. Which is PB. 
beat. <laughs> we just fucking beat beat this game after three years. So long as we don't fuck up like going up the elevator. I'm really embarrassed to see you now. Just people want only a specific kind of people to take it. It's, it's I think like they in the remake they use Let's Lisa as kind of like a pin cushion for like different viruses and stuff so because so she's got this like weird like invulnerability to all of it. So they give her like the G virus, the T virus, they put the N E parasite in her, which I don't know if I'm a little bit rusty on my law with the tyrant though, so you might be right. It might just be someone they've experimented on and they I know it's like something where it's like they had to like get some kind of large animal's heart to basically work with it. Yo, Snipe, what about going, dude? We PB'd on Chris, and we're looking like we might PB on this thing. Oh, lose a little bit of time, that's fine. Love how you see, yeah. <laughs> see, like, the top bullet on it. Do we run it back or do we do a trilogy run out of this? You decide to get risk of rain. I mean, that's the, the better option, I reckon. That seemed like the most um, replayable choice, you know what I mean? And that is another PB. <laughs> Started off with a Chris PB. We, we hit hit him on both barrels today. Let's fucking go. That was a... I'll be honest, like, you are, if you asked me a year ago, I would have told you, like, there's no way in hell I'm ever PBing this again. But we've only gone and fucking smashed it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Bang for the GGs, you legends. You know what? We're going to turn this into a trilogy run. We're gonna, why not? Let's see if we can make a comeback from yesterday. 39, 20, 20 seconds away from sub 39. Fucking hell, man. I reckon with a bit of a grind and a bit of work into this, this is a plus five as well. I guess we're making this a trilogy run, guys. <laughs> Fuck it. Come back from yesterday. I'll get the game ready. And then I'll get my Resi free nights. Why not? It's going to go badly at some point, but... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Don't call the comeback. <laughs> right, so let me get my... Uh... Notes on the go here. Oh, it's all crispy then for some reason. So I'm like getting all my notes up. We run it back and get the redemption for yesterday's awful run. Holy shit, I can't believe that. So, 39 20. Um, I think I'm probably going to run on rebirth because of my fucking vanilla version's being weird for Resi 3. I need to like run that by a few by my snake and whoever else. Because it seems really, it seems really choppy. We're playing with the GGs, Shino, P Lord, Cray, Sniper Wolf, Patchy, Vinu, all the fucking legends. And now we're gonna make this, we're gonna make this work. Why not? We've gotten two PBs today. Let's see what we can cook up. Let me just update everything first as well while we're here. 
It's over what I say, it's over. <laughs> Sometimes I'm dating her, so... Absolute fucking legends, thank you for being here. Um, we're Is doing another run. Today that I ate that wasn't microwave? Oh, it's gonna be Resi 2, Leon A. You fucking donut. Of course you don't put you the fucking donut. You fucking donut. Well, let's get the time, let's get the PB. Let's see it happen. Hey, there it is, 39.20. Decent. Fucking 15 second PB. Give one. Alright, on to the next game. Let's make it happen.